When I was in, living in Colorado, I was going through a tough period in my life and trying to figure out why things had happened in my life the way they had. One person that took time out of his schedule to encourage me was Russ York. I met Russ at the church I was attending. He took time out of his busy schedule on several occasions to call to see how I was doing and encourage me. It was not only the words he said, but just knowing that he cared for me made a difference. Still this day, I thank the Lord for Russ taking the time to pour encouragement in my life. Just like Russ's encouragement helped me, I know many of you could share similar stories of people encouraging you in your life that you remember forever. These times could have been when a teacher took time for you, a coach who pushed you to finish strong and become a better athlete, a friend who was there during your hard times, or someone who took the time to call or text to say, have a good day. The common theme is that someone stopped and took time and encouraged you. God calls all of us to encourage one another and to build each other up. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. God is saying stop living for yourself and start thinking about other people. So start, start to think about who you can bless each day. Letting people know you care and wanting to encourage them can make a big difference. God wants us to care for each other, whether it's kind words to a coworker, a text to someone who is hurting or struggling, or a phone call to say you're thinking about them. So, who have you encouraged lately? Do you take the time out of your busy schedule to think about someone else? Who can you think of that needs to be cared for? And what positive actions could happen in our culture if we encouraged one another? I firmly believe that we as Christians can make the biggest impact on our culture and shine the biggest light for Jesus if we take time to encourage one another. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for loving us and encouraging us with your presence in our lives. We pray that we will become people that look outwardly instead of inwardly. And in our outward focus, we take time to look for people in our lives that need to be encouraged and built up. In Jesus' name, amen.